In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a double exposure using a portrait and a landscape. The first thing you need to do is make sure all of your images are in one place so you have quick access to them. And then you want to make sure the portrait that you're going to use is isolated away from the background. So it is saved as a PNG and has a transparent background. First, I'm going to go to File. I actually, I'm going to go from Open from Computer. I'm going to go ahead and open my PNG of my granddaughter and select Open. And then I'm going to go File, Open in Place, and I'm going to select the sunflowers. And it takes a minute. I'm going to then kind of stretch the sunflowers out over the top of the picture of my granddaughter. And I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit more than the actual picture itself. And I am then going to create a layer mask. And to do that, we are going to right click on, on the sunflowers or on your upper layer and be patient with Photo P. It takes a lot longer than Photoshop to do something. So now I'm going to select clipping mask. So I right clicked on this layer. I'm going to select clipping mask. And now you can see that it has the double exposure is now clipped into the shape of the profile of my granddaughter. What I want to do now is lighten it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to this area that says normal and I'm going to select lighten. And now you can see that it has lightened the overlay so you can barely see through the photograph. Remember how I made the photograph a little bit larger than the actual profile? I can now, if I want to, I can move this around. Notice when I click on it, there is a window that opens that says smart object must be rasterized first and that's okay. We can use, you let it rasterize. So to do that, we just click on it and it should rasterize. Um, usually it rasterizes on its own, but we're just going to leave that go. Um, what I'm then going to do is go down to the background layer and you can mess around with this and see what happens. You can multiply it. You can also select maybe a lighten to see if it lightens it just a little bit. And I do kind of like what's going on right now here with the sunflowers in the background. The only thing I don't like, this is a transparent background. So I want to try and put something there that kind of goes with the photograph. Also note, you can make these black and white. They do not have to be in color. I just like this in color because there is a lot of color. I'm also going to lighten some areas a little bit by grabbing the eraser tool, going back up to the sunflowers, and make sure I have that eraser tool. I do. I am going to lower the opacity of the eraser tool way down. And I'm gonna make the eraser tool itself a kind of fuzzy eraser tool and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because I want to go into some of these areas and I want to lighten them and all I do is just kind of there we go smart object must be rasterized okay so I'm, I'm going to just kind of lightly go over the top to lighten these flowers and bring back a little bit more of her little face there we go so it's just kind of a dream in the background. It's not anything that's really sticking out too much. There we go. So now what I'd like to do is add a background to this to give it a little bit more um, interest. If I save it as a JPEG, this background is going to be white. So I am going to go ahead and add a background by first go ahead and get rid of that eraser tool and grab my selection tool. I'm going to add a background. And if this is my background, I want it to be below all my layers. So click and drag below all the layers. I'm going to turn off the visibility here and here just so I can focus on the background. We have to select the background with this tool, the rectangle select. Draw from corner to corner by clicking and dragging. I liked this light blue, so I'm going to select it. And I might even go over a little bit lighter. Okay. 
And in order to make this layer light blue, I have to go over to the paint bucket, which is hidden underneath the gradient tool. So you just need to click on this little corner and you see paint bucket. Select it, go over to the top of the layer and select. I know that this is going to be kind of dark, so what I might want to do is also lighten this layer. And to lighten it, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's try lighten first, and then I'm going to lower the opacity. There we go. And you can see I still have the selection around it, so I'm going to go up to select and then deselect. And if it's not enough contrast for you, then you can also change it, leave it white. And that does leave a lot of contrast. But we can truly see what it looks like when we go to File and then Export as JPEG. And now you can see it's a soft blue and um, the baby's head kind of stands out against it because of the color of her hair. And we can lightly see the sunflowers within. And you're going to save that as a JPEG and it will show up there. See, I like it. And then you can file, move it to your desktop because whenever you save in Photopea, it does go into your downloads. And there you're done. If you have any questions, please ask. I'll be glad to help you.